Okay, so you have a great idea for a podcast, but you have a limited budget. If you like the way this audio sounds, I'm going to tell you you can get three of these microphones, including the software you need to record it, for less than $200. Welcome to the channel, I'm Cohen, and in this video I'm going to tell you how you can get three microphones for less than $200. And this is the Samsung Q2U microphone. And the great thing about this microphone is that it's USB and XLR. And what I mean by that, here. Here's a second one because I have, I have three of them. Uh, but if you can see here, let's see if you can get it to focus. So you can kind of tell right here that it has an XLR and a USB port on the back as well as a headphone jack, which makes it one of the best ways, just best beginner microphones you can possibly have because out of the box, it comes with an XLR cord and a USB cord. Um, so it gives you a ton of diversity. On top of that, it also comes with a little microphone stand. Um, this is what a little microphone stand looks like. The microphone stand allows you to just clip in your microphone and just set it on the table. It's great because um, you don't have to buy like a $20, $30 microphone stand if you don't want to right off the bat just start your podcast. And probably the best thing about this is that it does have a USB cord. That's what I'm recording with right now. And you can record it to a free software called Voice Meter. Voice meter is probably the best way you can record your podcast. If you're trying to record more than one person at the same time. I'll put a link for it in the description below. But I use voice meter banana, which is the version that allows for three audio inputs. Um, so basically, I can record three different microphones at the same time, which is super helpful because me, my co-host, are always on the podcast, and usually we have a third person as a guest on the podcast so we want to be able to record three people at the same time without breaking the bank to buy like a two hundred dollar voice uh, a mixer or recorder or something like that because those can get uh, pretty expensive especially when you're just starting a podcast for for free um and so i i highly recommend using voice meter you don't need to pay for any fancy recorder or anything like that another great thing about these microphones is that they're super durable like <laughs> that's probably super obnoxiously loud uh <laughs> but it's kind of hard to tell in this video but I'll, i may i'll try to show some b-roll or something like that but these are made of definitely these are definitely made of metal um the little foam covers can come off and on you can also buy extra foam uh little foam covers to uh kind of help with the plosives uh, on your mic but uh, these mics have been super good uh, super good for my podcast that I've been doing and I could not more highly recommend these microphones and they're $60 on Amazon I'll put a link below uh, if you're you're interested in buying them I definitely say the most bang for your buck also the most versatile with the XLR and USB ports as well as a headphone jack which is really nice you can just plug in a headphone and uh, hear yourself so that we can hear if you're clipping off or if you're too quiet. You can also hear your guests at the same time as well. Um, the only thing that you might need if your computer does not have three separate USB ports, then you might have to get some sort of converter. Uh, my computer does have three USB ports, but you can easily get a USB like adapter where you can get one to four USB. I'll um, try to throw something on the screen to show y'all what I'm talking about, but you can easily get one of those and that should work perfectly fine as well. Also, these microphones are dynamic microphones, meaning if you have to talk directly into it and kind of rejects noise surrounding it. So if I'm talking now, you can probably hear me way less, way less. And then as it comes back around, you can hear me a lot again. So, um, it actually be interesting to <laughs> listen over my headphones, to see what that sounds like. But, um, these microphones are really good at rejecting noise from directions whenever it's like you were really far away or you know close and so yeah that's another perk about these microphones and I think it makes it sound uh really just professional and good so okay so if you want to know how to download and record using voice meter we're going to flip on over to my computer and I'm going to show you how to do that okay so now that we're over here at the laptop I'm going to be using this little stand that the um microphone comes with Okay, so as you guys can see, I am here recording on voice meter. This is voice meter banana version, which allows you to record up to three tracks, but I'm currently only recording my microphone. And this is kind of where you can stop and play and start the recording, and then I'll automatically record it and save it to whatever location is listed right here where my cursor is at. So um, that's important because that's where you have to go to get your audio file. Um, in order to download the software, though, what you're going to do 
you're going to type in voice meter on Google or whatever browser you use and it should be the first option that pops up um, and as you can see there's going to be multiple different versions of voice meter um, and you're gonna click on the first and it should be the first one you pop up so you're gonna click on that one and yeah this is what should pop up this is kind of what it looks like the original voice meter which just records two tracks but we want to record three or four or more right and so um, what you're gonna do is you just banana version is the one that records three and the potato version is the one that records I think up to five four or five so that's pretty epic um, you can have multiple people on your podcast or whatever you want to do um, and so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna come down here and click download and it'll download a zip file right here once the zip file is downloaded then you'll be able to open it and install let it make changes to your device and once you do that you should be pretty much all set to go the one thing that I would make sure you do is up here in this right hand corner of whatever voice meter you're using make sure you have the um, the hardware out all set correctly that's um, really kind of confusing at first I would suggest if you have three of the same microphone go into your settings and go into your sound settings type sound settings into your task bar and you should be able to uh, change the name of your microphone. So I made it microphone one, microphone two, microphone three, whatever, just so you can distinguish between your three microphones or however many you're using. So that way it's easier when you come in here um, to see which microphone you're kind of trying to select. Yeah, so what I do is I just select the WDM for each of the microphones on each of these spots, make sure each of them are different, and then they should align to this over here and make sure you have A1, A2, A3 all turned on and that they're all set with the proper microphones over there. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try and answer them. Yeah, anyways, I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you found it helpful, please consider subscribing. Uh, I'm hopefully gonna be posting more videos here soon. And I just found that this was the cheapest and most high quality way for a budget to do a three or four person podcast setup. And so I'll link uh, hopefully all that in the description below. So thank you for watching. See you, hey, maybe. Maybe I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> also, can we take a moment to realize the Christmas setup, though? Looking, looking kind of nice. Not gonna lie. Uh...